Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Moonlit and Polished. In this episode, I will be using gel, so if you use gel, please remember to cure between layers or coats. This is a YNS nail polish that I picked up off of Amazon for about $4.99, and it is a pink glitter. It's one of the many nail polishes that I had bought in the attempt to find a rose gold gel nail polish, which I didn't actually end up finding, but it is a very pretty color, so I decided to go ahead and use it anyway for this video. Alright, so after I cure my first coat, I'm putting some Simply Peel around my cuticles because I'm going to apply this nail polish like you would regular glitter nail polish that is not gel. Now once it's cured, you have that sticky inhibition layer which kind of helps with the glitter sticking to your nail. So you're gonna just apply it onto the sponge and you're gonna sponge it on. After you get the desired opacity of glitter, just put on one more layer of gel coat, uh, thin as possible, and then cure it. Now I'm going to go ahead and put a clear coat and then cure it in the lamp for 30 seconds. Okay, now here's where things get interesting. This is less of a tutorial and more of an experiment that I wanted to try myself. Um, you know how you put these little strips on when you're using regular nail polish and you wanna make designs and then you just pull them off while the nail polish is still wet. I've tried that with gel and the gel kind of moves you know, around while it's uncured. So what I decided to do was see what happens when I put the tape down and then cure the nail polish over it and what happens when I peel it off. So you guys are going to get to see what happens. And I'm not sure why I put another clear coat over this. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking, but I did it anyway. And now I am coating my nails with a white nail polish by Bundle Monster. I think it's called Button Down. I'll link all the nail polishes down below. And I'm just putting these coats on. I know they don't really look that great. I don't know if it's the mixture of the two different nail polish brands going on top of each other, but I don't think they really meshed very well. I just cured it quickly, and then now I'm taking this sort of fountainish pen looking thing that I got off of Wish, and I'm using it to apply my little Argyle diamonds. I use a silicone tool to go ahead and sort of clean up the edges, make them look a little bit straighter if I didn't get them right the first time. And I try to remember that I am filming this video for people to watch, so I'm trying to keep my fingers in the camera. Now I am pulling out the tape. Remember to leave yourself a big enough tab to pull. As you can see, one of them didn't want to pull out, so I went ahead and I tried the other one, and it kind of makes a really nice clean sort of peel that I don't show you because I pull my finger out of the frame. Good job. Anyways, um, if it doesn't peel off, it kind of has like a, a little bit that flakes off and then you can just kind of pick it off with a pin. I picked it off a pit with a pin un underneath so that I could pull it off with my tweezers because I wasn't getting enough string to pull. This whole maneuver was kind of difficult to do in camera and also pull off the tape. Sorry guys for my horrible filming skills but I thought it did a good job with the argyle pattern. What I'm doing is I'm cleaning off my fingers with alcohol right now and I am taking a file to kind of just file around the edges. Um, once the nail polish got under the little tabs, it made like little points that I wanted to get rid of. So now I'm cleaning my nails with alcohol again and I am going to put one final clear coat over them to kind of fill in the little holes. All right, so the nails to me looked a little bit bulky. Um, that's probably because I have tips on with builder gel. And then on top of that, I did a 
you know, sponging on of glitter. And then gel polish tends to be bulky if you don't do it right. So I think I'm gonna try this again once I'm able to take the tips off. I just have them on while my nails grow out. So here's my experiment. This is what it looks like. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.